Hi, this is Scott Robert, and today I wanted to go over uh, another feature on the Grafner X8N radio. Um, when used in conjunction with the Grafner Genius Speed Control Series. So the first thing I wanted to do was kind of show you basically what I have in front of me. Um, obviously I have the X8N uh, transmitter. Um, I'm using uh, for this example uh, my Pro 5 touring car. Um, I've installed the Genius Pro uh, 120R V2 Dropner speed control in it. Um, and I'm using the telemetry capable GR8 uh, receiver. Um, I have the speed control manual and the radio manual here just uh, basically here for a conversation piece. Um, bo both do a good job explaining the basics of, of the radio and the speed control. Um, the speed control manual does go over how to adjust the speed control using the trigger on the radio but it doesn't go over in detail on how to use the telemetry and to adjust the speed control and that's what I'm going to go over today um, I, I hit a few stumbling blocks uh, trying to figure it out myself um, there's some help on the net but not a whole lot so I'm hoping that this video will uh, help a lot of people out as to how to get to the point where you can adjust your speed control using your radio so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the speed control into a battery. Uh, everything is fully connected in this car. Uh, the receiver is bound to the radio and the speed control is already calibrated to the radio as well. Um, you will need basically a fully functioning system uh, to complete the adjustment via uh, the telemetry. Alright, for the purpose of this video I've, I've shut the backlight off on the radio just so it's easier to see on the camera. So I'm going to hit, go ahead by firing up the radio and turning on the car. <clears throat> All right. So I'm connected. All right. So the first thing I, that I, when I originally thought is, well, I'll just go into the menu and go to the telemetry setting and my speed control should be in here somewhere. Right? So I went through all these various menus trying to find it and you know the, the obvious one is device management and you go to device list and boom I was like okay so I can't see the speed control in this menu it only sees the telemetry capable receiver um, so I did some research online and basically the reason why you can't see it is because the settings for the receiver are not correct so basically, if you go in the telemetry menus and find this menu, which is basically, you go to settings and data view, click, and then you hit the right button once, and you hit it again. So basically, this menu is um, each channel in the in the Grapner radio can be programmed to run at a different speed depending on the devices you have connected. Some servos can run at a, a really fast signal speed and some can't. So the Grapner uh, radio system allows you to adjust each channel independently, which is really nice. Um, uh, the first problem though, when you're trying to use the telemetry to adjust your speed control is this channel two, which is the channel you plug your speed control in is defaulted to this NSR 12 uh, setting and it is not the correct setting so if you arrow down and select it and then arrow up or down I guess in this case you're going to come across a setting called some dv2 and that is the setting that you need it to be on um, in order to begin the process of um, adjusting your speed control via the radio. So what I did basically at this point is I shut off everything. So now I'm going to turn my system back on. And it took it a little second there to basically connect. Um, so if you remember previously, 
if you went to the menu, select telemetry, device management, uh, device list, there was only the receiver in there. Now we have these two. So we have the receiver and the car ESC. So that tells me that the radio is now seeing the speed control as part of the telemetry. So we'll back out. And if you go to settings and data view, this will tell you basically the information coming back from the receiver by default. Um, and also if you scroll over, you can also go to the section where you can change it. Now this is the other hidden part that I didn't know about that took me a little while to find, but in order to get to the menus for the speed control, you have to hit the function key. And now none of the manuals that I read went into any kind of detail on how to, how to do this. So um, you hit the function key and it's going to bring up this big display um, that defaults the receiver. So if you arrow down, there's car ESC. So then hit the center button to select it. So what it does is now, now according to the screen here, you're on the ESC, but you're just seeing the telemetry data, basically the, the temperature of the motor, the temperature of the speed control the voltage and everything. So in order to go to the settings, you have to arrow air, use the air arrow over. <laughs> Having a tough time talking. Um, so basically arrow again, and then you're on page one of the settings. Now, there's multiple pages of settings. You can use the manual. Uh, there's a graph inside that you can see which page you're, page you're looking for. Um, basically, I'm gonna s s use the select button here and then page, oh, that's page six. So page two, you can set basically the battery type, um, cutoff voltage if you want, um, your timing, your turbo. Um, basically your acceleration curves, um, if you want, um, reverse or not and the delay, you can adjust the delay, um, how long before it goes into reverse, um, your max reverse speed, um, ABS, if you want to use that, um, oh, there's an important thing here, uh, direction. So, um, if you want to be able to wire your speed your motor so that the A end of the speed control goes to the C end of the motor. You can do that just by um, selecting um, reverse there. So I'm just going to make a I'm going to make a quick change here and basically show you how to how to save it. I'm going to go back to um, well, let's just change the temperature at which. Um, the ESC cuts off. So I will select that and I'll raise it up to, let's just try 230. So I've made that selection. So now if I go back to page one, it's going to ask me ESC save. So you're going to arrow down to that and hit select it and then hit the up arrow and it hits yes. And I believe it is set. Um, so we're back at the data window again. We have to arrow, arrow over back here to see if the setting stuck. And we'll go back to the cutoff temperature. And you can see that it's at 230. Um, so that's basically how you adjust your speed control using your you adjust your Gropner speed control using your Gropner radio. I um, hope this video was helpful as to the few hidden um, menu things that you have to get into in order to get this to work. Um, if you have any questions, please post them below, and I'll do my best to uh, answer them.